Albert, how does it feel to be back at the Fly this year for your third competition? Uh, very exciting. It's um, I've had a lot of fun the last two years. Um, I think it's a great competition. It's great, great standards. Lots of uh, very talented players play, um, and it's just a lot of fun, fun to play sixes. So I'm very excited to be back. And you'll be playing for Swift this year once again, just like you did in 2021. You did play for Forge uh, last year. Uh, and you've also been chosen as the Swift team icon this year, which means that you stand out as someone who embodies everything that the fly is. Uh, what are your thoughts on being back in the Swift team? I'm excited. I'm looking forward to working with uh, Baggy again. Uh, we had a great time in the first, in the, in the inaugural year. Um, Swift was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with the Forge last year, but it's it's nice to be Go back to the the origins, I guess. Back with Baggy again, who was also coached that that year. Um, so it's good. It's it's nice. It was an honour to be selected, um, and it's going to be an honour to be a Swift player again. And like you say, uh, Ravi Sitlani, he's the head coach for this year. He has done assistant coaching at the the previous couple of years at the Fly. Um, just what's it going to be like teaming up with him again? It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I get along with Baggy really well. Um, I mean, I met him, probably met him for the first time in the, the first Swift year, and he's just got really good energy. Um, it's just really lovely, and it's, it's going to be nice to work with him, um, and hopefully we can do better than we did the previous previous couple of years. You're coming into this year's competition off the back of uh, becoming a European champion as well with, with England in the box lacrosse at the European Championships. Um, what was that tournament and that win like for you? Um, I mean, it was uh, it was amazing. It was a real special um, experience to have, a real special team. Um, I think it's developed me as a player and and um, kind of matured me in in a way that um, one being one of the older players on the team, but two, it's it's it was quite such a calming group and a calming atmosphere. Um, all, all kind of stemming down from our head coach that. Um, going forward now when I play I'm, I'm much less of a an emotional wreck as I used to be and I, I used to let the emotions dictate the way I played so I'm um it was it's changed me that way but I mean winning the European Championship was was where we wanted to get to um it was one of our first goals we've achieved it so it was it was amazing and in some ways, box lacrosse is similar to the Sixers game uh, that's played at the fly in the sense of sort of smaller pitches, fewer players. Um, what skills are you bringing across from the box to help you at the fly? Uh, I mean, understanding the biggest thing is understanding the shot clock and, and being used to, to playing with that. And you start to see a lot of the, the Sixers pl players um, uh, who are playing lots more Sixers are starting to get used to that. And that's that's a real big um positive but it's also understanding time on the pitch um because the last thing you want in box or in sixes is someone who just stays on going up and down completely runs himself ragged because it, you need to keep it fresh and it's trusting your teammates that i'll sub off and get someone else on because i know i'm going to go back on um but one of the things that you learn in box is avoiding getting picked avoiding getting contact uh certainly as a defender it's if i know someone's coming to try and set a play on me I'm going to do my best to avoid that because I need to worry about the guy with the ball. So it's it's taking those skills, even though the physicality is dialed down quite dramatically. Um, it's understanding the tactics of the pick and roll and the two-man game and, and avoiding that, really. And I'm just wondering if you found it quite easy to transition from to the Sixers game because you played box. I don't know some some of your sort of teammates, whether they, if they don't play box, did they find it a little bit more difficult or what was your experience of that transition? Um, it's, hard, it's hard to say because I, I don't think I, I struggled to transition. Um, it's very similar to how I play the game anyway. Um, I can't, I'm not, I'm much more about cutting and, and kind of not really less about dodging, but certainly defending as a midi that's that's kind of my bread and butter so um i didn't find it difficult i, I imagine there are some people so certainly the defenders who've, who've got have to get used to a much shorter stick that'll be a big transition but i think because it's so new and everyone was was finding their feet um i might find it found it slightly easier but i think everyone was kind of in the same boat it was completely new format of the game um However, I think this year, now that we're going to have, we're probably going to have some new players who haven't played any sixes, or certainly not at, at this kind of level. Um, and I think you're going to see some people struggle to transition, but you might also see some people completely flourish and, and find their game. Um, 
it's just going to be interesting to see a mix of slightly more experienced Sixes players now against some some newer players and see how, see what they bring. Yeah, and I'm I'm just wondering it 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 might be easier for you because you play box, but um, how do you go about preparing um some of those skills and practicing some of those skills um that you would use at the fly and in the sixes game when you don't really have a lot of opportunity to play sixes sort of domestically or throughout the year. I mean, uh, the, although we're not playing sixes, there's a lot of drills that we do in in training for fields that is very much kind of um plays into the sixes game a lot of the small sided games a lot of kind of basketball drills where you are essentially playing what sixes is so although we're not specifically training that you are getting those skills and those skills are always going to be transferable and there's so obviously i mean it's still across at the end of the day a lot of the stuff that you're going to be doing in a field game um you will be doing as uh, in the sixes game like there's no different um the diff, the I think the real thing comes in the in the mindset and going into the weeks in the the weeks preceding, it's changing your brain from kind of the field game and it's switching off the as soon as the goal goes in, it's done. It's all that stuff like that. The kind of the mechanics of the game that you need to kind of change your brain. In terms of training, it's it's really just about your stick skills and and a lot of that will be done at at, at training in field. Certainly with me at Spencer, like a lot of the training that we we do is kind of small sided and enclosed spaces you don't have much time on the ball and it's up and down kind of thing um so i don't think we, we isn't i don't personally drastically change the way i train just because i'm playing sixes but I, I'm, I'm sure there are people who do um and just finally at the minute you're the only player who's been announced as part of the swift men's team um there's going to be some more announcements over the coming weeks and months but what type of player are you hoping will join you in the team and sort of what do you think it takes to be a successful sixes player well at the minute be just me i hope i hope we get at least another 10 <laughs> at least another 10 players but um i think in our in our first year, the Swift team, the first day, the thing that really embodied us was the the kind of the hustle and the not giving up attitudes. Because in all those games, we were really struggling and we were losing, but we came back and clawed it back, clawed it back, and we won. Um, I don't think we had quite the same hustle in the finals weekend, um, and I think that's that's what let, ultimately what's that's what let us down. So, for me, teammates are critical. Or, or not critical the, the best teammates are the ones who are going to fight for everything um they they can control their emotions they obviously have some good stick skills and, and lacrosse skills but i imagine everyone who's going to be signed up is, is going to be a capable lacrosse player and i think to be good at sixes and to progress and to win this tournament not that i've got any experience in that is you need to have those level-headed players and those intelligent players who understand that you might concede a few goals but We'll go on a run and and we'll back each other and we'll still hustle even if we are down by a couple of goals, you know. Um, and I know that Baggy's going to pick those kind of players. He's going to pick a. You want a team atmosphere where everyone is is um, on the same wavelength and everyone's fighting for the same goal and it's that kind of team team spirit and togetherness. Um, certainly, which is why I experienced at the Euros and that's why we did so well. So I think that's that's something that I'm going to carry forward into the cross. Certainly, as my career goes on and ends and maybe going into coaching and stuff like that. So. That those are the kind of players that I really want to be be playing with. Um, I just want everyone to have a good time. I just want everyone to enjoy it and have fun. That's that's really my biggest thing. Um, that's the way I see lacrosse generally.